Hey guys, Kirk Short here with uh, the Wichita Home team at Keller Williams Signature Partners. And this is going to be our next episode of Real Conversations with Kirk Short. And as you can see next to me, I am honored to have the Honorable Mayor Jeff Longwell that's My with pleasure. me today. Thank you, Kurt. So we're going to take some time and um, we're going to talk about um, what's going on with the city. The mayor's done some wonderful things in his tenure uh, working for our city, and hopefully that continues in re-election. I expect that it's going to. Well, we feel like we have a lot to share. Well, I, I know you do. So what I want to talk about in this episode is um, a little bit about uh, what's going on with uh, aviation in Wichita. Sure. We just recently had our, our next big announcement of uh, about a thousand new jobs with Textron. Right, right. And kind of what's going on with aerospace. And then I want to talk about um, this renaissance that's happening in Wichita. Um, because there's lots of exciting things and Absolutely. what you feel that impact is going to be on, um, frankly, the, the housing, yeah. because it's, uh, it's a tight market. That is a tight market right now. So first things first, jobs. So certainly we have focused on trying to diversify our workforce and, um, and really targeting some other opportunities. We've seen it with some call centers. We've certainly seen it in the medical profession and, and uh, expanded our footprint in a wide variety of different non-aviation jobs. But aviation is coming back also. But, you know, what I really like seeing is the diversification that, that's in happening in aviation jobs. So mm -hmm. we've seen Spirit. Uh, expand their footprint and get into um, non-commercial cells in a you know in a variety of different ways. We're seeing them do more um, um, military aircraft again, and yep. which they hadn't done for a long time since really they divested themselves of Boeing. And then Textron the same way. We're seeing Textron take off on a number of different fronts. That includes their business jet, but some some other opportunities and they certainly announced that they're hiring a thousand textron um, spirits added nearly 2500 jobs in the last two years and uh, between the call centers and the non-aviation jobs johnson controls announced that they're hiring and adding to their footprint and trying to buy up as much land and expand their manufacturing up there on the north end of yeah. wichita that they can and uh, it's just exciting to see from startups to companies that have been around for years. And, and it really started four years ago when Cargill made the decision to stay in Wichita, yeah. which I think both gave us a bit of a source of pride yep. that, that, hey, we can compete with the Dallas's and Denver's and Chicago's and Kansas City's yep. because they said we're calling Wichita home. And it's really helped... Um, other companies that now have a better understanding of um, what they can expect from Wichita. And, um, you know, we've always had tremendous pride that the two largest privately held companies have had a presence here between yep. Coke and Cargill. But um, seeing the diversification of, of jobs is exciting. Well, let me ask you this. I mean, a lot of people don't understand. We've got a pretty low unemployment in Wichita to right. begin with, right? right? Right. And anytime we have uh, hiring of what I consider major sector jobs, that has a big trickle down effect into other jobs. Um, what what have you sat there and found to be the reality in our market when you have a Textron hiring a thousand right. jobs? What right. what's that ratio we so, tend to so, see? So the reality is when Textron and Spirit and companies like that add jobs, yeah. it's about a three to one factor for their supply line really? that it's going to impact, and then uh, non aviation jobs that will follow because the service sector jobs, and so they they typically have a three to one multiplier effect on our community and. And so we know that um, there'll be, you know, in fact, our biggest fear right now is making sure that we can continue to get people to um, both stay in Wichita and come yeah. to Wichita because we need to fill these jobs. So that we have a couple of programs that 
we've been able to initiate since I've been mayor that I'm pretty proud of. One of them is a youth employment project yeah. that, that um, four years ago, we only had a hundred uh, high school youth that were involved in it. This year, we will have maybe as many as 3,000. Oh, really? So we, uh, we think that we'll go well over 2,000 that we will train uh, soft skills to and have jobs placement for at least a thousand of them, but uh, we're getting kids coming to us from every area high, sc high school that um, has now heard of this project and they're excited and it gives them experiences that they wouldn't otherwise have. And um, Spirit and Textron and some of our major employers have for the first time ever gotten on board and they're hiring many of these uh, young people during the summer and, and happy to do it because it's opened up new avenues for them too. And so it's um, helped with a new entire pipeline of young people that can fill jobs. And uh, so that's exciting to see, see that program. We have yeah. some other programs where we provide job skills training and um, placement for people that need a hand up. And we've been targeting some low income neighborhoods to uh, help those that need a little extra help. And that's yeah. been successful. And but more importantly, we were, we need, so four years ago, the, the cry was we need more jobs, jobs, jobs. Today, we need people, people, people. People and housing. <laughs> so certainly we're hearing from a number of different folks in the housing industry that um, probably the, the biggest issue today is that kind of that starter house yep. market. There's just not enough um, stock. And, and yeah. there's a real shortage and and I understand some of that if you're building a home and and you only make so much for every home oftentimes yeah. these builders want to build in a little bit higher price range and we're seeing a lot of activity in that you know 300,000 and up but yeah. it's left a void in that starter home price range it's it's left a big void and uh, you know I'm, I'm sure we're going to be doing a lot of stuff to uh, um, to help that process because that's just part of retaining jobs and, right. and things like that is making sure that we help all of that. Um, when you talk about um, keeping talent in Wichita and recruiting talent to Wichita, um, one of the things is having amenities for Absolutely. people in Wichita. And, and we've seen a lot of changes here lately, right? right? We've seen a lot of pride. You and me did a little cruising with Kirk episode um, earlier. And um, we were talking about, you know, it's neat to go around Wichita and sit there and see um, all the Wichita flags um, right. and not right. just people flying them, but they're incorporating it with their um, with their businesses, their logos on their buildings, they're wearing their shirts. I was in right. um, Costa Rica with a group of friends and, you know, part of them, I mean, that's all they did. They were wearing Wichita, I love Wichita, that type of right. shirts and stuff. And it's neat to sit there and see that. And it's really just taken off in the last couple of years. I mean, the flag's yeah. been around since 1930s. <laughs> so I've learned in the last couple of yeah. years that that's the case. <laughs> yeah, but it's just become that um, source of pride for people. And it's, um, as you mentioned, you can, you can find it on about every apparel that you can yeah. imagine that people wear. And uh, you know, from coffee cups to hats to yep. T-shirts to garage doors that yep. people are painting on their garage <laughs> door. And, um, you know, I, I have a ball marker that has the Wichita flag on it. And, uh, and so it's just a great source of pride and, and great that we have that in our community. But you're exactly right. We need those things to encourage that next generation to choose Wichita because there are choices for them, certainly in the Midwest, but as we continue to encourage the next generation to choose Wichita, we have to focus on the built environment. We don't have mountains, we don't have oceans, yeah. but what we can do is offer a number of amenities, certainly a great place to call home, we get that, but we need places where people wanna socialize and entertain and hang out with their friends. and. So for, for many, it's a, a great place to hang out, a safe place to hang out. So we've added 60 commissioned officers just in the last three years yeah. to ensure the public's going to be safe. For some, it's a, um, 
a nice place to ride a bike and walking yep. trails. And so we're investing a million and a half dollars every other year to improve our walking trails. And for others, it's enhancing the river corridor. And so today you can go down to the river and rent a watercraft or rent a bike and ride up and down the trails or get in the water and kayak. And absolutely, our, our park board has paddleboard classes in the summer. And yep. so you can go go learn how to exercise on a paddle board and and then WSU's rowing team had their first event down on the river recently and you know they housed their shells down there on the on the river right there next to the ballpark and yeah. the new um, River Vista apartment complex that has the boat and bike rental and a, and a place for WSU to store their shells for their rowing team yeah. and I so remember, I, li I love seeing that activity. I remember I remember seeing all that stuff. I used to love when I was younger seeing the rowing teams down there. I used yeah. to, you know, we had this time where where the river was great, and then the river went south, and seeing the river come back is great. I love the ballpark, um, and what's going to happen with that, and and all of the growth around that. So, you know, we've. When I've talked with a lot of people, we talk about this sort of renaissance with Wichita, right? Right. We're going through this 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 big, uh, really neat evolution. It's a it's a great time to be a Wichita and see all of the stuff that's happening. So we've got um, we were talking about the Northeast Corridor up near Greenwich and all the stuff yes. that was happening there. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Riverwalk downtown, you know, where you know Dave Burke. Um, sort of started this evolution in Wichita with Old and Town, right? yeah and now all of a sudden you have all this investment not just by Dave but by lots and lots of other people the Delano district oh my gosh has taken off it, it is it's amazing um, yeah. you know Pretty again cool place to hang out it is kudos to uh, Occidental for coming out and doing what they did um, with a lot of the buildings there and really helping to prove to other investors that um, Wichita is viable. More importantly, Wichita is exciting. Um, people are willing to spend money. They're willing to entertain. They're willing to do things. The Interest Bank Arena, all of the concerts yeah, and stuff. Absolutely. And, and yeah, tell me if I'm wrong. It's we have got we've got one of the top venues in the country relative to. Um, arenas like this for the number of events over the course right. of the year. And it's been very successful. And who would have thought in Wichita, Kansas? Right, right. But so, so from, as we mentioned earlier, the art scene, Final Friday and all of that that's happening. And yeah. of course, the art on Commerce Street just yep. near the arena. And um, you know, so certainly just a, a, a whole different vibe and excitement that's in Wichita today versus just four short years ago when we didn't have a new library and we didn't see the investment on the Douglas Corridor yeah. Avenue and didn't have a new Cargill building or Union Station or Spaghetti Warehouse or Hilton Garden Inn or yeah. or Douglas Place Apartments or River Vista Apartments yeah. or and now an investor has bought the old state office building and yeah. they want to put some new and exciting people in that building and yeah. invest hundreds of millions of dollars in our core and yeah. and more announcements to follow. You're just seeing a lot of investments happening in this city from east to west, north to south, and certainly in the core of the city. And so it is an exciting time and certainly an exciting time to be mayor. And we have a, a really good council that, yeah. um, that understands it also. And so that's what... Um, I was really pleased with um, you know all of the work that it took to bring baseball here. At the end of the day, it was a unanimous vote yep. and, a, and a motion made by the vice mayor Jeff Blueball and and Councilmember Claycomb that led that charge. And um, people are excited. It is, you know, it's 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 funny with politics how you know people get caught up sometime in the minutia of things and sometimes forget about the pic the big picture of what a lot of this does and it's a lot of give and take absolutely and and sometimes you're good cop sometimes you're bad right. cop um, but the reality is is i feel that our city and our city leaders are truly are truly trying to do what's best for our city 
So what I will say is sometimes making sausage is not a pretty sight. <laughs> <laughs> but it can taste but, good. But it can taste really good. And, and so sometimes politics can, um, can look like that, you know, and it can yeah. be challenging. And um, it can be difficult at times, but the end result is worth it. And uh, as I said, it probably took 10 years off my life, but 10 years well worth it because our community is going to be a better place. Well, I, I had mentioned to you earlier, um, I'm, I am really impressed with the fact that it seems like our city leaders, um, whether it's yourself or city council or just people that work with the city, are very open to interacting with um, your constituents. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. And it seems like in other markets it's not. Other markets it's just the good old boys club and those are the only people with access. But I really think that anybody who would like access or would like their voice to be heard really has an opportunity to be heard. And I know you guys have started a lot of um, focus groups and initiatives for people to do that. So if, if people are listening, and I hope they right. are, and I know right. they are. Absolutely. Um, how can somebody get involved truly with our city or find right. out what's available? So we really encourage involvement. Yeah. You know, we have district advisory boards that the council appoint people to, and we have a number of different committees that we put people on. And, you know, I get to place people on uh, a number of different committees, including the library board and mm -hmm. Metropolitan Area Planning Commission that we get to put people on. And, you know, it's made up of regular citizens that want to make a difference. And, you know, from our bike and walk committees to our transit committee that serves our community and just wants to make our community a better place, we encourage involvement. And if, if time is um, a difficult thing to find, we have evening meetings that people can participate in. And I have a monthly walk along well if you just want to come and share your thoughts with the mayor we get out into different parks every month and and do a simple hour walk with the mayor and you don't need to have an agenda or an appointment you can just show up and you know I try and do a um, several radio stations a week just to get our our message out I do a weekly press conference had one earlier today and then I do a call-in show every month on KPTS Channel 8, call the mayor and I saw that. And, and getting uh, great feedback from that. And we want to be accessible and we want the uh, community to have access to us. So we certainly appreciate you allowing us a, another venue to uh, share our message and, and meet different constituents out there. And so it's truly a pleasure and, and we encourage that and we appreciate you doing this. Well, I, I thank you. I'm, I'm passionate about our city. Um, I want people to sit there and honestly know a lot more about um, what we have and where we go. I, I do my Wichita Hometown Highlights because um, that series, you know, we just, we did a whole deal on the library. It's amazing what the new library has in it and has available. It's a gorgeous um, facility. It is. We were right. talking about the brewery scene. The, the, we the, have great microbreweries. Oh, my gosh. We, we did a whole deal, you know, talking about that and using the Q line, which is um, an incredible resource that costs us nothing. And um, there, there's all these little things that people just don't think about. Wichita State University. Has Look, an innovation I, campus that's man, taken off. It's, it is. It's awesome they the uh you know finding how they've got collaborations with um the library with uh what is it go create right um Which is really nice space pe yeah people if 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 you're listening to this and and you've thought about you know doing how do i do 3d printing or laser engraving or or a whole plethora of other stuff here's this this place that will help you teach right. you right for, for give you access to all of the equipment for next to nothing right just to, right. to learn and innovate um, Wichita is an entrepreneurial city and and we encourage that and we're seeing that happen with some new maker space that's was announced this week that's going in the old printing incorporated space and so what's know. that gonna do uh, tell me about that that's so the new maker space and and I just have a small understanding it's a it's a, a couple that has decided to call Wichita home and 
and um, they were from the tech industry and uh -huh. did very well and it enabled them to retire at a fairly young age and they want to donate their time and help that next generation of entrepreneur potentially um, help them with their inventions to get it to marketplace and so they're they've started this new maker space that uh, they're investing in and they're going to give their time freely to it and that's exciting because you have people that care enough to make a difference and and they're wanting to encourage others to be successful and not necessarily take any profit from it yeah. so they get the satisfaction of helping others and yeah. that's when you that that's Wichita's you yeah. know to see people with that kind of spirit where they just want to give others an opportunity to be successful because they've already been successful and and they don't need the money yeah but they still want to encourage others and so that's um it just goes along with the slogan that uh, recently was adopted by uh, McConnell Air Force Base because it's uh, we're fortunate to have it in our yep. city. They come here not knowing what Wichita is or about. Yep. And so just a few years ago, about the same time our flag was taking off, they have a new slogan. What's that? Here by chance, stay by choice. Yep. And I think that sums up our city very well. Yeah, Here lot, by chance, stay by choice. A lot of people don't realize that the amount of people that retire from the Air Force and stay in Wichita once they've been able to visit Wichita. Because they just fall in love with our city. They do. So I, I want to finish this up. You're coming up for re-election. I am. And um, I really hope and I really expect that um, you're going to be around uh, through the, the re-election and, and maintain this so. office. Um, so for those that are listening, uh, why do you want to stay and what do you hope to achieve in this next re-election? Well, thank you for this opportunity. And certainly we just want to continue to grow a city that uh, we love. My wife and I will be celebrating our 39th wedding anniversary this year. That's We've awesome. had three wonderful kids, all very successful. And, and all three of our children are married and we have now three granddaughters and we truly just want what's best for our community and an opportunity to guide it as um, a real blessing that we've had. And uh, we want that next generation to choose Wichita. We want our kids to continue to choose Wichita. And so uh, we do it because we love our city so much and want to continue to see it thrive and grow and, and find opportunities. And so we're excited. We don't feel like our work's done yet. And we still have a little bit more that we can give before I'm kicked to the curb at some point in time and let that next generation jump in here. And, yep. and I, and I tell people all the time, my kids are so much smarter than I ever thought I was. And, and so it's refreshing. And so I am, I'm very comfortable with eventually that next generation taking over and we'll be in a good place when people are worried about what's happening today. You don't need to be, there's some very bright people out there that, uh, we can feel comfortable with, but we think that we have a couple more years of being able to give back to this community and I want to be able to do that um, and continue to encourage the kind of development and momentum that we're seeing right now. That is awesome. Um, we're at the, uh, the end of our uh, podcast here and um, I, I, I first want to, I want to thank the mayor for, you, for taking this time to share your thoughts. Uh, and and talk about what's happening in the city. I want to thank everybody that's listening in um, to this podcast, and uh, really just make sure that uh, if 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 you're not following us on Facebook or YouTube, uh, please follow us. If you have other content and topics um, about the city, um, things you would like to see, uh, please reach out to us. Comment and uh, let us know comment with questions that you want us to pass on to the mayor Absolutely. i'd be more than happy to do that if if people want to connect with your office how can they connect with your so office so they can call 268-4331 and typically they go through megan lovely she uh, is an outstanding individual who's um we're fortunate to have working for the city or they can email me at jlongwell at wichita.gov or uh, reach out in a number of different ways, whether it's through one of the call-in shows or walk with the mayor or or go through Kirk Short. 
and and we'll <laughs> help you find your next dream house together. Hey, absolutely. I, I appreciate that yeah, plug. <laughs> my pleasure. My pleasure. Well, thank you guys. And until next time on Real Conversations with Kirk, I'll see you then. Thank you.